Hi English enthusiasts, welcome to my class. I am Teacher Julian and I am your teacher in English 6. Join me as we discover and explore the English language while having fun. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss organizing information from secondary sources. One important task you do in school, either face-to-face -face or distance learning, requires writing compositions and presenting oral and written reports. In today's lesson, you will learn to organize information from secondary sources in preparation for writing, reporting, and similar academic tasks in collaboration with others. What is a secondary source? A secondary source is a document or recording that gives information from a primary source. Using primary source or secondary source helps you gather information. What is the difference between primary and secondary sources? Let's have quick facts about these sources. Primary sources are original materials that are created at a specific time in history. They have not been changed or altered and provide direct or first-hand evidence about an event, person, or object. Examples of these are artifacts, audio recordings, diaries, interviews, letters, newspaper articles, original documents, photographs, records of organizations or government agencies, speeches, survey research, audio recordings, work of art, literature, and music. On the other hand, secondary sources are accounts that have been written after the fact with the benefit of hindsight. They analyze, review, or restate information in primary sources or other secondary sources. Secondary sources are not evidence, but rather interpretations or evaluations of primary sources. Examples of these are bibliographies, biographical works, dictionaries and encyclopedias, journal articles, commentaries and criticisms, magazine and newspaper articles, textbooks, and websites. In simple words, you can think of secondary sources as second-hand information. Think about it this way. If I tell you something, I am the primary source. If you tell someone else what I told you, you are the secondary source. Let's answer this. Determine whether the source is primary or secondary source. Number one, a short story describing the origin of Anabu. Is it a primary source or a secondary source? Number two, a play showing how the soldiers fought hard in the Battle of Alapan. Is it a primary source or a secondary source? Number three, an interview with Mayor Emmanuel Malixi about the drive through vaccination of Imo City. Is it a primary source or a secondary source? Number four, a radio broadcast from the day the Malacanang announced the enhanced community quarantine. Is it a primary source or a secondary source? And number five, a textbook describing people power revolution. Is it a primary source or a secondary source? Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! You were able to determine which source is primary and secondary. Upon knowing the sources of information, you may probably ask, how do we organize the information we got from these sources? The original information from the primary source is selected, modified, and arranged in a suitable format in secondary source. Organizing information needs thorough reading, gathering information, validating the facts, and writing comprehensively. In organizing information from the secondary sources, you may use the following ideas. First, location. You can organize information by showing visual depiction of a physical space. You may use diagrams, analogs, 
graphic representations and maps to organize location. Second, alphabet. Some information is easy to organize using specific terms in alphabetical order like in dictionaries and index. Third, time. Another important factor in organizing information is the time element like history of humanity or events happened in a person's life journey. You may use fishbone, timeline, steps, and psychographic organizers. Fourth, category. This type is used to group similar characteristics such as color, size, usage, brand, texture, materials, gender, age, model, price, content, and nature. Fifth, hierarchy. Hierarchies are used to indicate the ranks as to heaviest to lightest, smallest to biggest. This shows how one piece of information is connected to another broader information that you like to emphasize in your written and oral reports. Let's answer this. Identify the idea used in organizing information to present the secondary source. Number 1. Biography is a secondary source that gives the readers information about a person's experiences. This can be a compilation of a person's life journey in chronological order. Is it location, alphabet, time, category, or hierarchy? Number 2. Non-fiction books are intended, in good faith, to present only truth and accuracy regarding information, events, or people. Is it location, alphabet, time, category, or hierarchy? Number 3. Almanac is a kind of secondary source that shows an annual publication listing a set of events forthcoming in the next year. It includes information like weather forecasts, farmers' planting dates, tide tables, and other tabular data often arranged according to the calendar. Is it location, alphabet, time, category, or hierarchy? Number 4. Atlas is another secondary source of information. This is a collection of maps. It is typically a bundle of maps of Earth or a region of Earth. Is it location, alphabet, time, category, or hierarchy? Number 5. Dictionary is a reference book that gives all kinds of information about words. Is it location, alphabet, time, category, or hierarchy? Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! You were able to identify the idea used in organizing information. Before we end, remember a secondary source is a document or recording that gives information from a primary source. In organizing information from a secondary source, you can use the ideas on location, alphabet, time, category, and hierarchy. I am glad to have you in my class. Again, this is Teacher Julian saying, everything in life is a choice. Choose to learn today and you will definitely earn tomorrow. God bless and happy learning. See you next time.